Have you ever been to the Appomattox Courthouse National Park? No? Well, today we're going to that national park. You wanna go along? Come on, it's gonna be fun. And our first stop is the visitor center. Jill's getting her book stamped. Come on, check it out. I'm trying my best. <laughs> Yay! It looks beautiful. Well, that is so cool. It's a choo-choo train. And you can write the uh, under what it is, the yeah. Appomattox Depot. Show me your front of your book. I want to see the front of your book. Okay. From the Appomattox Visitors Info Center, it's about an eight-minute ride to the Appomattox Courthouse and National Historical Park. Here on April 9, 1865, Robert E. Lee, commanding general of the Army of Northern Virginia, surrendered his men to Ulysses S. Grant, general-in-chief of all United States forces. Other Confederate armies remained in the field, but Lee's surrender signaled the end of the southern state's attempt to create a separate nation. Three days later, the men of the Army of Northern Virginia marched before the Union Army. They turned over their flags, stacked their weapons, and began the journey back to their homes. Wait a minute, that's not the truth. My grandpappy told me a different story. Where are you going with all this nonsense? We were here. Yes. What about the other one? Look it up. Beautiful. Oh crap, look what I found. So this is the oldest building, it's the tavern. The, uh, the old road used to run straight in front of the tavern and everything sort of grew from here. This was the start of it. And the tavern uh, became a restaurant and a, uh, a place for people to stay and a place to eat. And we're gonna go inside and check it out. Built in 1819, Clover Hill Tavern was the first building in what would become the village of Appomattox Courthouse. For several decades, it offered the village's only restaurant, only overnight lodging, and only bar. Jill's inside, and I found myself a rocking chair. Are you making a home video? I am. You want to be in it? No. Okay, so when they were making the bricks that made this building, the sun walked on top of the brick, as it was forming or cooling or whatever it does and put a footprint in here and it's probably you're probably not gonna be able to see it but it's his little toes are right here I think he was four years old is what the ranger told me but it is part of the building I thought that was pretty interesting a little tidbit of history Appomattox Courthouse developed from the small settlement of Clover Hill a stop along the Richmond Lynchburg stage road Clover Hill's few houses clustered around a tavern. When the county of Appomattox formed in 1845, Clover Hill became the county seat and was renamed Appomattox Courthouse. Its courthouse built in 1846 spurred the construction of homes, stores, and lawyers' offices. McLean House, this is where it all went down. They say it's history. They say that's the way it was. Robert E. Lee, and that other knucklehead, what's his name? 
Wait a minute. This is how my grandpappy told the story. Let me tell it to you. When Lee and Grant sat down in the parlor of Wilmer McLean's home, Lee asked only that the Union pledge not to take up arms against the United States. Lee allowed the Union officers to keep their sidearms and any man who owned a horse to take it home with him. The generous terms of the surrender began the process of reunification. <laughs> That's the way I remember the story. That's the way my pappy told it to me. So you see, the Union Army surrendered to the Southern Army. You make up your own story. This one's mine. I found a wishing well. I'm going to drop a few dollars in, see if I can get a wish to come true. Oh, well. So Jill says this is the ice house. This is where they kept their ice. Oh crap, another crapper. Yeah, I don't think they'll mind if I use a little bit. <laughs> uh, they didn't block this one off. It does. It's a beautiful day. Walk up this hill to see this last house. The phone's about ready to die. So I hope I can get the picture of it. We'll see. <laughs> oh my goodness, we couldn't have picked a better day. It's beautiful out here. Sun shiny, about 75, 76 degrees. Nice cool breeze. Feels wonderful. Could have picked a better day. Really awesome. I hope you're enjoying it. It's the principle of the thing. I just don't like to be on the losing side. Okay, more out. It's quite a walk. I told you it was a nice, beautiful day, about 76. Broke a sweat. Property's <laughs> pretty well spread out. But it was an awesome, it's an awesome visit. Really interesting, a lot of history. I just love the buildings and the history of the buildings. The surrender of the Confederate Army. That's not right. You're still not saying it right. You're not saying it the right way. Right here in Appomattox at the historic Appomattox National Park. I guess that's it. I hope you enjoyed this story. If you did, click like down below and smash that subscribe button if you'd like to hear more stories like this one. New stories every week on Wednesday. And then Friday, a live stream maybe. I don't know, it might be Sunday. Until later, thanks for your time. Bye.